Hello and welcome back to more SimCity 5 Discovery Dollars 100%. This is part 17. And we're back here in the mining city. So, it's been a while. Like, quite a while since I last recorded this. Like, two weeks. So, yeah. I did play a bit before we started recording. I added another mine here. I added another smelting factory here. And I added some parks around here. Because the thing was happening again where they said they couldn't find shops or parks. Which is odd because there's no shopping, but there is a park right there. I don't know. Uh, we're running into a lot of debt, but it doesn't really matter because we're making a lot of money from ore. Really, I'm just trying to hammer out the next Metals HQ upgrade because I want the um, Commerce Division. Because I think actually a trade war would be really useful. Because a lot of space right now is taking, being taken up by trade depots. Problem is, I just need, I need to place for the trade port. It's not really a good one. Yeah, this guy is just saying not enough freight producers. I don't know what to tell him. I mean, this must be a bug, right? It's just not. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why he wants us to build more freight producers. We get the freight deliveries. Oh. Oh. Well, you we can see like. I guess the total freight orders for the region, maybe, aren't satisfied? I don't know. There's just not enough room to put that much industrial, mister. I'm sorry. Freight's already commuting out, anyways. What's up? Storage full. Ah. Okay. Oh, another car. I'm trying to avoid spending money on these things as much as I can. But sometimes you just gotta commit and spend the money. Shame. Those coal mines are pretty far for a little further away. Makes sense they can't quite shift them off as fast. We should have reached a limit, right? Come on. We're almost there. That's sad. So, basically, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do for the next few parts of the series. Because we're kind of wrapping up with these four cities here. Overall, there's just not much we can do with Willow Woods because we have all. Was, that was just our starting city. There's not much we could do. I just hope Marsh is kind of broken. And the university kind of exists there. And casinos. Uh, Magnolia Wetlands, we basically spent the max capacity. What we could do. There's still some parts we could, like, with the island like, over here. But honestly, eh? I think it might just be better overall to just. Uh, lots of health issues. Where? Okay, I'll put a little more treatment rooms. We have so much money. It's ri absolutely ridiculous. I mean, we're going to debt, but it doesn't really matter. The game's telling us to build a trade, like trade HQ. But I'm trying to keep the HQ amount like one per city. So I feel like that's fair. Having a trade HQ, I'd probably already get it done. Because I'm selling stuff in the global market anyways. What I do want to talk about, though, is the great work. Because we could... Yeah, these are something we got to think about. Um, honestly, Solar Farm would be the most useful for these set of, for this set of cities. The problem is we need a lot of plastic. And we don't have plastic. A lot of processors. And we have no processors. Um, other than that, International Airport might be... Actually, International Airport might not be that bad. Um, we don't really need freight for anything, but tourists would be nice. The thing, though, is if I'm going to build all four of them, this is basically, this takes up the airport, which is honestly is fine by me, because I don't really care. I know the city here really has a good, like, airport or anything. This might actually be worth building. I just need an actual airport in the region. So that might be something we build later on, because really, those requirements aren't that bad. We could buy oil. I and mean, we already have something that's making better than alloy. It's not even said the arcology, honestly. But. Eh, I don't know. Actually, arcology might worth it here, too. To be fair. Like, we always need these workers, shoppers, and students. So, honestly. 
I could see both of those being good options. I think Solar Farm is a bit too far out though. I don't know. I feel like Solar Farm might be more useful in another in another city. Streetcar. What is a streetcar problem? Okay. Really? I'm surprised the wait that. I'm surprised the wait is that long. I'm surprised many people are using it. Nice. It's that they're actually using it for once. Okay, so I just have enough free producers, but who cares? I'll probably decide on great work later. Because I will be coming back to these cities. It's not like I'm just going like, to abandon them forever after this. But, yeah. We're also going to check on High Cycle Marsh because there's still research stuff to do with the university. But honestly, at this point, probably better just to build another university. Because the city's kind of screwed. Again, there's a worker shortage. Um, but honestly, we got most of the useful research done for what we would want anyways. I don't think the clean generator is very useful. And space center is something I want to later on. So honestly, all that's kind of mediocre. We've gotten the best thing out of it, so. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start on the fifth city before checking Magnolia Wetlands because I just want to make sure it's nothing, there's nothing else here to do. And I think with the fifth city, I'm going to be starting Cities of Tomorrow because I've waited a long time on it and I really, really want to use Pega Towers. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, the city looks fine. I think these medium density roads could be high density roads, but it doesn't really matter. They're still visiting the stupid amusement park, which is nice. There's still a lot of solar wind turbines if we need them, but eh. The city is kind of a dud. I think I did a really bad job on it. But, eh. I think maybe it's like one less amusement park to build or something. I don't know. Because we will need the other entr two other entrances. So I just keep that in mind. And they got the culture building, I guess. If you really want to count that. Whatever. Okay, so Fifth City. So this will be kind of our introduction to Cities of Tomorrow, I think. So I don't really want to choose anything too interesting. Hmm. A lot of the cities over here are weird. I might say this for later. I was actually thinking a bit more over here. Because this city here actually has a connection to our other pre-existing cities already. And if we check gift here, we can gift by truck, rail, and boats. So once we get access to trucks, or once we get access to boats, we can actually ship money here from Cottonwood. And at that point, we should be good at, we should be good as gold Okay, the city start up. So I'm going to start with Thatcher. Um, we have a lot of coal, but not really a lot of other stuff. But it's fine, honestly. I don't see myself doing smelting here. This might be more of like a, I don't know, medium wealth city. I don't know. The first thing that's important off the bat is we don't have rope connections. That implies a lot of things, but the big one is that we won't have a lot of events from like other cities. So we won't know a thing where the arsonists kept coming over. That shouldn't happen. But we do have a train connection and we do have a water connection to all four of those cities. So workers will still commute over. It's just that we won't have like the other implied events. And we can't buy power. Yeah, we can't buy power, we can't buy water, we can't buy sewage, and we can't ask for like garbage trucks or anything. So yeah. First thing to do, like always, is draw a line from the highway. As it were. Um, wind speed. Or wind direction. I always confuse those. We're going right to left. Interesting. So in this year, probably be this corner here, probably the gas. I don't really care too much where the resources are here. Because frankly, I don't really care. Um... 
honestly, I don't really know what to do with the layout of the city. It's weird. It's like um, Cottonwood, in a way. Where there's like, just the ledge is so steep. You always know that you're wasting room. Hmm. Once I get started on cities of the Mario stuff here, I'm totally going to use it in the other, other four cities. Uh, that should be fine. Okay. Uh, we might be wasting a lot of money here, actually. I'm playing very recklessly. This is a hard city to start out on, though. Uh, let's actually do this. Now, this might look super cursed. I'm sorry. You gotta do it. Save money. Why? Why roads? We have a train track here, so a train station here wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Yeah. I do it with industrial blocks bigger, just because the industrial blocks are bigger themselves. Uh... Other than that, um, I guess we can have a road here. This would be so terrible. Like my moron sensor going off. Like this is such a dumb idea. Okay, so I'm gonna get commercial along here. That should be fine for now. And we're starting to see some other stuff already. Hydro pumping station. So this is just water tower, but it requires power and workers, I believe. Um, big problem is that there is no water up here. So we actually need to draw a road down. Perfect. That little road looks so safe. No accidents here. Ah, we have no money. It's fine. I see the road here kind of got futurized. Futurization is kind of like land value in a way. It's It works off the same system. You can kind of see it here. There's a range. Honestly, I don't think futurizing does anything. But it looks kind of cool. That's enough to justify his existence, frankly. Um, I'm waiting for wind here. Wind speed kind of sucks. But also, I don't care. This is like more about survival than it is about making a good city. Um, so yeah. That seems fine. Um, once we have more power, we can start the vertical turbines. Gotta get the sign down there. That's the most important part. Yeah. Fire station's good, and sewage is where it usually goes. There we go. Alright. Cool. That should be everything we need to get started. And we still have a decent amount of money. So, yeah. There's also smaller parks, which spread fusion, like the AR Athletic Center, Excitatorium, and Millennium Plaza. This is just kind of for funsies. But they do count as parks or citizens to visit, so. Yeah, pretty cool. You can see some of the futurized buildings here. Wow, this place really looks futuristic. Yeah. Uh, futurization's weird, because you get weird stuff like this happening. Like, futurization kind of just stops. But it's alright. It's fine. Hmm. They're, like, they're, they're talking like robots, though. They really like saying, commenting the same stuff. This looks so weird. 
Is there the picnic table, like the wooden picnic table? Yeah, we might need to upgrade the road right along this middle path. That should be good. Yeah. So really, I'm just gonna, I'm kind of waiting out for the ferry terminal so I can start shipping money here. Because I want to get in the Mega Towers right away. Mega Towers are awesome. And they'll help us get to late game. You'll see why. But, anyways, we got the House of Worship quest to do. Yeah, I'll do it, I guess. Um, like a modern temple makes no sense here. don't really know where to put it, though. Mm, I got, I'll wait. I can wait on that. So, yeah, I'm just biding my time, really. The wind turbine broke, so we're not having, we don't have any power for the moment, but it's fine. It'll fix itself soon enough. A big thing, though, is we can't rely on other cities to provide education here. So we will need to build our own schools. Which is fine. It's just that it might be more difficult than we think. Futurize. This is Futurize more bugs you ever have before. It usually completes on its own. But, yeah. Uh, this is the Academy quest. Yes. Uh, Academy will be in a future city. This is mainly just stuff. That's the, uh, the city's being mainly just stuff. Because I need a good foothold in this part of the region. And this city would be, it'd be like the other city, like whatever it was. Um, Willow Woods. Just a place that can generate money reliably so they can, they can rely on for later. So yeah. Otherwise, everything looks good right now. We could maybe do with some medium wealth people. But those would be kind of... I think the medium wealth area might be the bottom. But I want to save room for mega towers. Because I don't want to like build over the space I have for them. Which is like right here. Like this row. Like death row here basically. This would be worth to build an avenue. But we also have room down here as well. So yeah. We're probably going to have our first garbage problem showing up, I have to guess. Just going to get it preemptively. That's smart. Yeah, we have room for an incinerator here. But that's a wise decision. We don't have any hell for police or fire issues yet, because we still have that grace period where no, one's makes, no one does anything too dumb. Look at the excitatorium. That doesn't look that exciting. There's a town over here in a place too. No, you can't. So these assholes at the bottom will complain anyways. The excitatorium's open like 24-7, I guess. I just thought parts of this closed. Hmm. What are simulated, pu pu simulated people on someone's computer? Nah. They know? No. I can take a shower. Oh, good. This is going to take an entire month to realize that his water was running. They're so dumb, man. They're so dumb. And the education level is zero. But that's their fault. Okay, it's my fault. But it's their fault in spirit. I'm going to stay on the road here. I think we can fit two mega towers in this space right here. And I would like to get some more people because we do not have a lot of people at the moment. Yeah. Um That seems fine for the most part. Actually, yeah, I think that's fine. Whatever, it's weird to me. 
this timid box tool. There we go. Yeah, see, it kind of is only time time. Although we did build some buildings, like right in an area where it would have completed itself. Oops, that was dumb. Creating roads is always a good use of money. Yeah, that's fine. Like all the zoning's pretty good for right now. Uh, I think I'm worried about right now is fire showing up. Which could be bad. There's a load of garbage for you. Hey, no wait, that's a sealed copy of this game. Nah, just kidding. This game's not bad. It's an excitatorium. No, like this side of the city's be futurized too. The people in the middle would suck it though. City of Tomorrow. Capitalize. TM. Trademark. Hoping nobody hurts me. This place looks pretty damn dangerous, though, honestly. Shut this place down. It's more dangerous than a McDonald's play place. All these, like, jagged edges and slopes. Tag your it. Falls off and dies. Stupid. McLaren attacks. Ha ha. Cause I really want a town hall. I was almost tempted. You almost got me there, guys. Ah. Hmm. Nah, there's no point. I almost almost thought about it. No, oh, we don't need to use a park. Use park, go somewhere else. Health's an issue. Okay, we need to take out a bond. Goodbye, wallet. Um, I'll put the clinic here. It's pretty centrally located. I'm worried about fire being an issue at some point. Which it will be. But... So I don't think we had any garbage truck. I don't think we ever got a... Um... Oh, we did get the wind turbine sign. But I don't think we ever got the garbage dump sign. There's no sign. That's sad. Ouch, I'm injured. Good. Oh, can we treat dead bodies? No. That's sad. Uh, so we need medium well people. I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna start with that down here. Uh, traffic will probably be a big issue here. If I was smart, I would say like, oh, we could just use sky bridges, but we have to unlock those. And shocker, they're kind of out of our reach right now. Which is sad, but it's, it's fine. Yeah, fine. We're so screwed. <laughs> We're gonna, the dragon is so bad. It's fine. Hey, let's use our AR Athletic Center. Let's screw off our land value though. It's terrible for land value. It's good for futurization. Terrible for land value. Yeah, I genuinely believe that the future buildings would be good. So, like those future spreading arts would be so good. They actually like had like upgrades. Oh, they do. Oh. Now just think like I don't. Didn't these have like uh like the ability to upgrade them or like like the ability to, like expand on them? I guess they did. Okay, okay. That changes things. Okay. Um I am spending a lot of money I do not have. And I put that water tower in the worst possible spot. Awesome. Go go good job. Good job. Uh uh oh, I think we're kinda screwed. Unless we get some money. No one burns themselves. Sorry, fireman. We have no money. Finance your overpriced fire station. 
Is that city that, to, that building doesn't burn? Burn the pieces. That's sad. Oh well. You see the futures Asian bar looks a lot more blue here at the bottom. Like it looks distinctly blue. It's interesting. I don't know if you never see like a futurization graph total, like how much of the city is futurized. It's like a pretty minim minimal amount then. The medium wealth future buildings look pretty normal actually. Except for the giant, like whatever that is. Interesting. That's what the interpretation of future stuff in this game is really weird. So I know they got like some guy to like Oh, that's what the future looked like or something. It always looks really weird, though. I do kind of think it's interesting that the medium, all of the media floatings are very traditional-looking houses, but, like, future stuff slapped on. But the lower future buildings are more abstract. With, the, like, little landers. Or, like, like, laser gates and laser walls. It's very interesting. They're just, they're just the medium of people prefer these kind of normal houses. I guess we can expand the excitatorium as well, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a... Oh. Huh. Huh. That's really interesting. I think that's the only park in the game like that. It's really weird. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm still bidding money. Uh... Park? Okay, I'm building the other water pump station right here. Deleting this one, because that was dumb. I'm adding another road. Yes. Okay, and we're adding a park right down the middle. Uh, tree lined walkway go. Bingo. Okay, cool. So that was like the perfect spot. Put one of those. We are running out of money very fast. Like, very, very, very fast. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um. This looks bad. <laughs> this looks quite bad. Um. Let's leave her being reckless. Oh no. Okay, we're we're we're, in, we're making it back up. We're fine. Don't need some more industrial. We can always zone more people. Okay, we should be good now. Thank God. Dang bonds. Don't do bonds, kids. You end up like me. Uh, sad. What is the high tech? Well, actually, no. Mostly a low tech, but whatever. Uh, but if there's any fire issue, they're gonna have to suck it, honestly. Like, suck it. We still can't heal everybody. They're still dying. I'm gonna say that's user error, not my error, though. It's just them not reading the hospital manual correctly. I'm just killing over. Where even is the ore on this map, anyways? That should be kind of useful. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay, well, we totally botched that. I don't really care, though. Mining is kind of cheesy. But. You know. I'm not going to do like I'm not going to build a coal and ore mine in every city just because it has ore and coal in it. That'd be stupid. I mean, it'd be great. For me, but it'd also be kind of stupid. Do people look any different? Are they the future people? Eh, no. Well, that person looks weird. Your mommy said, even though you look like a full grown adult. The cars look different too, but it's hard to get. It's hard to look at. It's hard to actually find one of the cars. It looks weird. Cause they just move around too much. I can see them parked. Yes. 
So we're doing okay. Aside from that almost imminent bankruptcy we almost found ourselves in. It's it's been alright so far. Smooth sailing. Mostly just waiting for that ferry terminal. Shouldn't wonder for that. I should have I should have used the I should have gotten a bond, gotten that, and then just shipped six hundred thousand simoleons. Is that I could have gone from that. No, I'm playing it slow. We are so dead. And it, like an any fire starts. I'm so dead. Oh, I'm so bad. Uh, can we get more people? Eh, what's the problem? All right, guys. Now we're still going. All right. One one time I can do a lot. It's early on. Um. And we can have people commute out too, because we have train and we have boat. So it's not like they'll be stuck here. So this future city tomorrow, like street lights look really weird. They're very distinct, but look very weird. Life of a sim is not an easy one, but we get along, right? A wave of arson washes over your factory overlook. No, no, did you not get along? More health issues. I don't know why they're so so dumb. Like why are they keep getting injured? Tripping with their own feet. Embarrassing. Yeah, education still something I gotta look into at some point. Just want that damn fairy. Uh I have no idea how long I've been recording for at this point. That's a coal mine. You give me money? No. Oh. All you give me is a bad joke. So, yeah. I think... I might just call it here for part 17, I think. And we'll start part 18 with a boat. We'll pour a bunch of money. And then we'll get right in the Mega Towers. Because I want Mega Towers right now, damn it. So, yeah. See you next time.